So are you wasting time learning SQL in 2020? You reached the right video. Let me explain. This video was brought to you by Diginic Academy, your number one source to learn how to make money programming and get that six figure salary you desire. Our academy have a wide range of courses, including 3K in 30 days, our mentorship membership program, and much, much more. When you sign up for our free community, you get access to our membership community with like-minded professional who's going to help take your career to the next level. So let's take the first step to get started and really take your career to the next level with our seven step money guide today. So let's go ahead and click the link below to sign up for our free seven step guide to help you get your career started today. Let me tell you guys a good story about myself, Rod, and uh, my relationship with SQL. If you guys don't already know, SQL is uh, my first programming, uh, at least programming language that I've learned uh, when I start my development. So I have a really good relationship with SQL, but uh, it's not the first language I learned. It's the first one I got paid to uh, do. So let's just rewind back. I'm in college. I'm learning COBOL. Um, at the time, I thought that's the, what the right language to learn. Life is good, and uh, I'm learning how to code. Great. Get ready to graduate. Learn COBOL. Um, it wasn't. It, it was pretty hard to learn, guys. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to say it was easy. Um, I passed, but I still was confused about a lot of stuff. So um, after I graduated, I got this job as a help desk technician, not a developer, a help desk technician. Got the job, did help desk for a while, saw a need as far as just development, EDI, I jumped into it. Uh, one of the functions of the job, write reports. What do you use to write reports and how you gather the data? SQL, so I had to learn SQL. I went probably about eight months just using the select statement alone, guys. Select statement alone. And I was able to get myself a full-time SQL developer job, creating store procedures, creating reports, and really start to start to move data, integrate it with EDI systems, and other different solutions. The point I'm trying to make is, guys, is you're not gonna have the answers coming in. You're probably not gonna be positioned with a opportunity to actually learn what you um, what you went to school for. So should you um, learn SQL, de SQL development? Yes, you need to learn SQL development. And every company out there has a SQL database, guys, of some sorts. It may, it may be a no SQL, it may be a my SQL, but it's some kind of SQL database and you need to be aware of how to pull data and it's going to be around for a while. So to answer your question, should you learn SQL development 2020? Yes, you should. Even if you're a front-end developer, back-end developer, whatever kind of developer, at some point you're gonna be working with some data. You're gonna have to Pull that data to your application in some sort of way. You're going to be using select statements, update statements, um, insert statements, whatever statements are out there for SQL, you need to be aware. At least the 20% that you need to be able to pull the data in and then kind of go from there, guys. SQL is one of those languages, in my mind, is one of the easiest ones to learn because you got the four major statements, you got your store procedures, and you got your functions, and you can start off without necessarily getting too deep and it's pretty self-explanatory because you actually visually get to see the data and can narrow or filter the data down as you select and update it that's why i always suggest you guys to learn um, database or sql at the beginning as one of the first languages along with probably python and php and then kind of go from there guys so yes you want to build your confidence sql is a good thing to learn at the beginning guys you can really start to get the concepts of programming not necessarily traditional uh php or uh python programming but it gets you in the ballpark and then you start to add those layers on later when you start to look at the software stack guys let's say for an example you got a wordpress website right you got the application layer you got the database layer and you got the um the back end where you're actually processing the data it gives you an opportunity to kind of look at each of those layers and how they work together and be able to learn them 
build confidence down here in the database level, then you can start going into the PHP layer and then eventually get to the JavaScript layer. Some people go the opposite. They learn JavaScript, then they go to PHP, then they go to the database. But regardless of how you learn, the point is you understand the stack. You understand which programming language do what and what purpose you're trying to learn. SQL, you can make a ton of money, guys. Um, if unfortunately, it's, it's one of those languages where you got ranges from $30,000 up into $200,000 or probably even more at some of the bigger companies. So you got to be aware of that. Um, some people will low ball the mess out of you. Even me, early back then, I think I was making like $36,000 but that's me i think 36 or 38 thousand dollars when i first started but that was that was like 10 years ago and um, what happened was i started off as a uh, help desk technician and then i really didn't get a raise when i first started but after i start to do it full time i start to ask for a raise and i think they bumped me up to maybe 40 42 41 something like that and um, even then for maybe a year or so i made you know less than fifty thousand dollars doing SQL developer it's one of those development jobs to where you know depending on where you work with city you, know, you can make very little money if you don't necessarily position yourself as a professional and get the salary you deserve so you got to be aware of that and once you know your value and how to provide value in the retire ROI for that particular client you can ask for the moon because at the end of the day guys Every company values this data. They want to have a way to access it, update it, and be able to, to integrate and move it as they need to with other systems outside of their company and inside their company. So there's a lot of options there to make money with being a SQL developer, guys. So I want to stay on track of my notes. Man, I usually make notes for these videos, and um, I've been all over the place, so I want to make sure I cover all of the points. So. Um, uh, SQL always gonna be around guys you're never gonna go hungry um, learning SQL a lot of programming languages you think hey it's gonna phase out or I'm wasting my time or I can't find any jobs I would say PHP SQL Java C sharp is up there towards the top as far as just jobs guys and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of options because everybody needs somebody to manage their data from healthcare transportation um, professional conservative uh, consulting technology company everybody have data and they need somebody who knows their data be able to report their data send their data integrate their data keep their data safe and be able to build structures to allow them to optimize and really be able to take their company to the next level this is a great money opportunity for a lot of you guys and now I, sw I, I swear by it because again you guys see the proof in the pudding and I took that knowledge of SQL and parlayed that into uh, PHP, JavaScript, C Sharp, and, and, and it's all, it, it changed my life. I can't say that. So I'm always going to be a, the advocate for learning SQL first if you can. So should you learn SQL in 2020? Yes. Very good language to start off with. You can get your feet wet without being too intimidating. You can use Excel. You can do access a lot of different productivity softwares that's consumer facing you can really learn that way you can do APIs there's a lot of options guys so let's get on that so let's go over my points again this is as sexy as uh, Python or, or JavaScript or some of the front end languages. No, it's going to be a little bit uh, in the background. So don't expect uh, a lot of people to be excited to learn SQL. Uh, just like you see everybody's trying to learn Python and JavaScript, it's not that sexy, but it's in demand and you can make money doing that. Uh, crawl before you walk, guys. Crawl before you run. Um, build that confidence up. Do those uh, smaller projects first. That's going to get you those quick wins. Build that confidence. SQL reports, uh, SSRS reports, Crystal reports, all that stuff. Get those small wins. And number three, you're never going to go hungry, guys. It's in demand. A lot of people want it. And you're going to be able to be successful as a SQL developer um, for the very near and long term future as, as, until some other solution comes out. Even these no SQL databases, I think personally, it's just going to be two options there. You're going to always have somebody using option one and option two. So just be good at option one. 
be aware of option two. Me personally, I haven't done a lot of no projects with a NoSQL database unless they categorize XML, flat files, and stuff like that. But guys, just understand the foundations, the concepts, everything else gonna come into play as you complete these projects. Let the projects uh, determine what programming languages you should use and SQL is a good way to go. So like, subscribe to the content. If you have any questions, guys, comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Comment below, guys, and uh, let's start the conversation. And uh, if you haven't already, go check out my premium courses below, guys. You can really get some secret. I'm going to have a SQL course, but you can start off with my 3K and 30 days program. I'm going to really help you take your, your career and you can take your money and your salary to the next level. So I'm going to put my seven-step guide here, right here. Go check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.